The Epistle Reading for the fourth Sunday in Lent in year B is from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. I love the whole chapter. This is the first half. Second half is about how Jew and Gentile both are now one in Christ. They have all been brought near. He's broken down the dividing wall of hostility. Great, great stuff. Read it if you get the chance today. Verses 1 through 10, though, our text before us, you probably know the Lutheran verse. It's really two verses, verses 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Beautiful, straightforward, can't say it any more plainly. We cannot earn our salvation. It's by God's grace. It's his gift. He gives it to us. Christ has already won it. He earned it by his death and his resurrection. There's nothing more we have to do. Thanks be to God. However, we often leave off verse 10 there. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. It's not that we do good works to be saved. It's that in Christ, you're already saved. Thanks be to God. And now because you're part of his family, you're part of his house, you're his child, you do what the family does. You love your neighbor as God loves your neighbor. You care for them as God cares for his creation. He's prepared good works for us, and so we go and we do them. The first part of the passage, starting at verse 1, you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, that would be the devil. You were dead. What can a dead man do? They can't do anything, right? What can a dead man do to save himself? to even help himself. And the answer to that is nothing. And so we come to verse 4, God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is, again, more of the same, right? It's a gift. You've been saved by a gift. We can't earn it. We were dead. Dead men can't save themselves. God, however, can. God can raise the dead. He's done it in Christ. He's already, in this text, in a way, said he's done it in us. We were dead. Now we live. And while we'll yet die in the flesh if Christ doesn't first return, he'll raise us again. So the Lord is the one who gives life. There is no life apart from him. We cannot earn it ourselves. It's a gift. Beautiful text, very clearly, very simply, shows us the true and beautiful news of salvation in Jesus by faith alone. All gift. Thanks be to God.